Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hello and welcome. Mother truck and welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, you guys, and that means it's a vlog day. And this vlog almost didn't happen like 19 different times today. I'm going to tell you the story of today, but really the story of today starts with the story of this week. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and a flannel. Don't worry, Kobe. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the whole story, but hello and welcome you guys. Welcome and hello. This is on Twitch and Twitch alone right now. And I just want to draw everybody's attention to one important thing. Fuck YouTube. <laughs> Fuck YouTube. And, and there's going to be a, uh, one of the things that I was concerned about with Twitch, and I just want to make sure I explain this right out of the gate because I'm unfamiliar with the way that Twitch kind of works and functions. I'm an aging Gen Xer. I'm, I'm going to be 45 years old. I've been learning new technologies my whole life. Started at 12 years old when I first used a Macintosh computer, and I've been trying to learn new technologies my entire life. And now at 45 years old, it's like, oh, now you're going to try to learn Twitch too. So I want to give a humongous, gigantic, astronomically engorged shout out to uh, Flitz on you. Flitz on who's in the chat. Flitz on who is a, is a Twitcher. He's a gamer on Twitch. He's been helping me out. If you're a gamer, you should go follow him on Twitch without hesitation. He's going to be here tonight helping out, maintaining the order, maintaining some peace. I'm going to hand out some moderators for this right here. Mod... Sla oh, slash mod and then the username. We're just learning this as we go. We're learning this as we go. W with any luck, this will also be replayed on YouTube. I'm saving a version of the stream so that I can manually put it on YouTube so that there's like a record of it. As far as I understand, Twitch keeps your streams for what? 14 days? Something like that? 14 days, 15 days, something like that? Um, and her name is... I'm I'm trying I'm just trying to make Michelle Lynn a, a moderator here. Michelle Lynn underscore dull dime. Okay, if this doesn't work, Michelle Lynn, then then hopefully you're a moderator. We don't generally run into a lot of trouble in the chat. We don't generally run into a lot of trouble in the chat, you guys, but we just need a few peacekeepers. Yo, yo, I see Jay. I see you there. John Moore, Sexy King Phil. God damn it. Everybody made it. You guys, Cindy Jeep Girl, Asphalt Cowboy is here. Popper, did you bring sandwiches? Popper, did you bring sandwiches? That's all I ever want to know is did Popper bring sandwiches? I don't even have anything to hydrate. Oh my gosh. You guys. Okay. Here's a quick rundown of what's going to be happening tonight. And then I can't wait to tell you this story because it is... It makes no sense. It, it kind of feels like the universe was against me for a brief moment, but look at this. We prevailed. Asphalt Cowboy? Damn right. We prevailed. I think that's Andrew Ehring. I'm not sure. We prevailed. We are here and we have prevailed. We're going to do some very random liquid tasting that I'm really, really excited about. We might bump that up just a little bit in the schedule. Not quite sure. We're going to be talking about music getting to know Grim Green. We're going to be reviewing a band. Yeah, it's been a minute since we've reviewed a band. It's been a few weeks since we've reviewed a band, but we got a new band to review tonight. Uh, I do have a bunch of mail that I'm pretty excited about. I'm going to pepper in some news and advocacy in there as well. The liquid tasting is directly related to the vape mail, which I have to give a shout out to Pam, the reluctant Pam Cakes. I'm not sure if she made it over here onto the Twitch scene, but have to give a shout out to her. And then, you know, random shenanigans involved and included. Here's how we're going to do super chats. I know, I don't know if anybody's curious. Maybe you want to hang on to your money this week. You know what? It's fine. There is an option for a super chat on Twitch. And again, shout out, huge shout out to Flitz on you for sort of getting me, uh, getting me up to speed here on Twitch. But if you're watching this stream and that means below me, there should be a little thing that says mega chat. PayPal donation, mega chat. If for whatever reason you want to try to get my attention, we want to have some, you know, you have something to add to the discussion. Uh, you want to, you want to, you want to know how new wave Dave's cat is doing, hit that mega chat 
and you can, it's basically a super chat. It's basically a super chat, but it's PayPal to PayPal rather than going through YouTube and your credit card. It's PayPal to PayPal. Now with these mega chats, there's, an, there's a 256 character limit. YouTube sort of throttles that. If you do a $1 super chat, it's like, okay, you can say like a sentence maybe. Give a $10 super chat, you get to say a little bit more. If you give a $100 super chat, you get to say even more. With this, you can, you can do a $1 mega chat and still send me a paragraph. I'm asking you not to abuse it, but that's an option that's out there. I am hopefully going to be able to see these mega chats. I can just pop this chat out. Pop it out. Let's pop out the Twitch chat and bring it over here, sucker. Oh, there we go. Now we're twitching. I feel like a, I feel like a twitcher. I feel like a, twi twi a Twitch streamer. I feel like a Twitch streamer. It should be. It's in the. Uh, it's there. It's there. I don't. I don't know how exactly. It's in the about. If you go to the about, I think that's it. Let me test this. Let me send myself a mega chat. Yeah, it should be right there, right underneath. It says mega chat, PayPal donation. It's big green text. You can just click that and uh, and it'll happen. And I should get a notification and... Okay, so here we are. We're on Twitch. Hello and welcome, you guys. Boom, it's Thursday. Now that the Twitch awkwardness is out of the way, now we're, we're going to get rolling. We're going to get rolling on this vlog. There you go, Addy Tooney. Please give Mike Vape's third channel a sub. He's moving all his vaping content there. I don't blame him. We're going to talk about YouTube. Oh my gosh. We're going to talk about YouTube. I don't seem to have enabled mega chats. Don't tell me that. We got this all sorted out. Yeah. Should be a thing. Should be there. Should be the mega chats. All right. I'll get my tech support on that. <laughs> I'll get my tech support on the... Uh, I'm, 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 I'll get my tech support flits on you on that. If you see the guy with the red text flits on you in the chat, he's, he's the guy. He's the, he's the man. He's the man helping me. I can test it. See, I can do a fake. I can do a fake test a donation. And it says right there, John mega chatted 55 bucks. That's not real. John did not mega chat 55 bucks. But that's what it should look like. Okay. First things first, let's have a mother trucking beer. Feels good. Okay. We, we didn't have a vlog on Thursday. Feels good to be back here on a Thursday streaming. Feels right. You know, just feels right. The beer that we have tonight was there not the real Gerard Butler? Mega chatted five dollars. Yo yo, I don't forget to use the bottle opener. Here's the thing, not Lee. I'll explain why I didn't use the bottle opener. I will explain why I didn't just use the bottle opener. Okay, because I need to tell the story of today and I need to tell the story of this week. But first things first, I need to get beer into my system. Lee, I know not the real Gerard Butler is cursing my name right now. Just, just looking up and cursing my name going, damn it, damn it, Nick. This is the beer that we have tonight. This came uh, from a subscriber, Mexico Brewing Company, West Coast, Hazy IPA, got a nice 7.6 percenter there. The initials on the bottom are TK, 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 shout out to TK. I've had a few of these uh, Mexica brews on this uh, stream in the past. Oh, whoa, what am I doing? I'm not even pouring it correctly. We're pouring it tonight into, I felt like I needed some good luck. <laughs> so we're pouring it tonight into a Jets mug. This is the good luck vlog. Jets mug makes beer taste better. I don't know if it helps the sports ball team at all. I don't think it does, but I found it to be, uh, you know, a kind of a good luck thing here on the stream. Look at that beautiful West Coast Hazy IPA. Woo! Woo, looks good. The poor Jets. Well, the poor Jets are not. Cheers. Okay. Sweet, sweet, citrusy, IPA-ish, piney. 
Uh, Esteban, Mega Chatted, one dollar. Hey Grim, I wanted to ask if the Artemis is still one of your favorite RDA RTAs. Uh, yes, actually, absolutely. Love Twitch. Hashtag better than YouTube. I, those are hard to read. I need to change that mega chat. Andy Dwyer is hilarious, but that's hard to read. Uh, uh, Seban, I still love the Artemis very, very much. In fact, the Artemis was just recently cleaned. I had, a, I just had a big stint. Oh, thanks. It's Cody G. I just had a huge stint with the Artemis and I just rinsed it out. And I met that crossroads where it's like, I'm either going to redo the Artemis and I'm going to re-wick it and keep using it. Or it's like, maybe I'll go back to the K-Fun for a little bit. Or maybe I'll go back to the Dwarf for a little bit and then circle back around to the Artemis. The Artemis Mouth to Lung RTA, it's going to be, oh, thank you, Kevin Lizzie, is going to be one of those things that I constantly, constantly circle back to. Constantly. It's just so damn good. Speaking of things that are so damn good, this Jets mug, Green Nap. Hey, Grim, so glad we're here. Tonight from the UK, here for as long as I can stay, hashtag Team Replay Crew. We'll, we'll check that replay crew hopefully on YouTube. Or you know what? It's going to be on Twitch for the next 14 days as well. Speaking of things that are delicious, Mexico Brewing Company, the West Coast Hi Hazy IPA, 7.6%. A, I just like this can. It's just a can, you know? Doesn't need anything flashy on there. Doesn't need any death metal art or anything on there. I'm just testing this mega chat for you, Nick. I love you, brother. I think you're better. You think you're better than me. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Day metal. <laughs> Fuck Google. <laughs> Duchess. I love you, bro. Cheers. This is for you. That's for you. And you have to toast me. Um, this is just delicious beer. It's a little alcohol forward with that 7.8%, but the sweetness behind it, the, that like, bitter pineness from it it's a delicious delicious flavor oh thank you carnage predator delicious delicious flavor upfront sweetness i want to pair this with this some rich kids of instagram right here oh there's a big one from new wave dave let's test this theory that i can actually go back and read these that might not be the case Shit. Uh, all right. Uh, my kid came out of the kitchen holding a cup and grinning. He said, that's it. That's it. Oh, damn it. Did anybody get a screenshot of that? There has to be a way to go back and, uh, you know, see, right? Right? There has to be a way to go back and see. I'm sorry, New Wave Dave. I'm sorry. But I want to pair this. Damn it. I really wanted to hear that story about your cat, too. And that is upsetting to me that I can't see that. I should have screenshotted it. That's what I should have done. That's what I'm going to do every time now. Every one, I'm going to screenshot. I'm going to pair this with uh, one of my original all-day vapes that I just love into the ground. It's Coil Spill, Rich Kids of Instagram. Ranger Rust, he says, Nick, I uh, love you, Nick. Thank you for powering through and giving us a vlog. Just wondering if I could get your thoughts on the Kirch. I have one on the way right now. Ho, <laughs> ho, ho. Let me tell you about the Kirch. In the meantime, this is Rich Kids of Instagram. It's a strawberry champagne flavor. I've got it right now in what I'm actually going to call like my favorite vape of all time, a recoil on a hexome. I think I've, I've decided that this is just my favorite vape of all time. Glorious. Glorious. That is a glorious glorious uh ronnier it's your birthday ronnier uh, we're singing your birthday we're singing birthday songs we're singing birthday songs i completely completely forgot to check the yo-yo birthdays but i know there was a birthday wasn't it just seamus's birthday recently i'm glad the power's back on too so now that we got a beer well, let me tell you the story of this, this today and this week in general. Woke up Monday morning feeling great, ready to attack this week. I, live, I have two live streams planned. I have a bunch of content, three live streams planned, had a bunch of content planned. It was fantastic. I get on YouTube in the morning. Thank you, Grinchy Clouds. It, and I get on my Instagram, Yo Yo Cool Kids coffee stream on Monday mornings that are amazing. 
Hi, Graham. Ready for this? I'm going to screenshot that and read it later. Yeah, that's what's happening. Because I'm in the middle of a story, M. Stell. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. So I woke up Monday morning, streaming with the patrons, making coffee, having fun, goofing off, talking about South Africa and spirit books. And then I go on YouTube. I'm setting up for my stream. And it says, uh, you're str I go on YouTube and YouTube tells me, oh, sorry, we had to pull your content down. You have a community guideline strike now and you won't be able to stream or shoot any video, upload any videos for a full week. I was basically in YouTube prison. And the video was the type two RTA that had no links or anything in the description. And the reason that this community guideline strike is like a thing is because back in 2019, like towards the end of 2019, YouTube was really cracking down on links in descriptions. If you were a vape YouTuber and you had a link in your description to buy a recoil, to buy anything, that's it. Strike and you're struck. And once you get three strikes, your channel is gone, is gonzo. And that's exactly what happened to Dash Vapes. Dash Vapes had links all over his YouTube. Dash Vapes was the shop. Dave was the guy. Dave, Dash Vapes. Dash Vapes was the store. They had a bunch of links. They got their whole YouTube taken down. Mike Vapes is going through a similar situation right now, although I know that he follows the rules and I know there can't possibly be any links to vendors or anything in his descriptions because I follow the rules as well and I haven't had links in my descriptions forever. So when I got this strike, I was confident that I could appeal it and get it taken away. Confident. So on Monday, I made the decision, well, if I'm in YouTube jail for a week, let's go on Twitch. Let's stream the vlog on Twitch. Radical. <sighs> Problem solved. Problem solved. I appealed my YouTube strike. It ended up getting dropped off just uh, Tuesday. And then I was able to upload a video on Tuesday. And I thought, you know what? We're still doing the stream on Twitch instead of YouTube. I've committed to Twitch already. You know, I've committed. I've committed to Twitch. And so we're going to go with Twitch. And then I wake up this morning all pumped for the first twitchings. <laughs> all pumped for the first uh, twitchings and the such as. I'm getting ready, setting stuff up. Pulling, you know, retro, whatever, liquids. Power goes out. Two hours before the stream is supposed to start, the power goes out. So I instantly panic. <laughs> I instantly freak out. I call a Los Angeles power company. They're like, yep, the power's out. Probably won't be back on till like 5 6 o'clock. So I think, okay, how do I still stream if I have no power? I then spent the next two hours setting up this stream in my living room because there was still natural light. And I was going to grab my phone and have a tripod and have lighting and grabbed all of my vape gear. Like my coffee table was covered in vape gear and I had my beer out there and I had lighting and a microphone and everything in my phone. And I was getting ready to stream on YouTube at 4.30 from my iPhone. That was going to be the plan. I'm like, no, I'm streaming today. This is going to be a thing, damn it. I was going to stream from my living room on my iPhone with like, my terrible little LED panels. I was going to have like candles and try to get some ambient lighting in there. That was the plan. I was all set up, ready to go. All set up, ready to go in my living room. Power came back on. So I went, huh, okay, pivot again. <laughs> pivot again, Grim Green. Get all of this shit out of your living room. Put it all back in the office. Put this back in the office. Get all of your tripods. Get your beer. Get all your vapes and throw it back in the office. And that's what you saw at the beginning was me scrambling. Get back in the office. Do the stream on Twitch like you had originally planned when you were in YouTube jail at the beginning of this week. <laughs> so that's the story. That's the story of this week. And that's why we're here right now. And we almost ended up back on YouTube from my phone. And I think, look, and I wasn't like upset about that. I was kind of like, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I would have been cool with streaming, uh, streaming from my uh, living room. So I don't have a super chat bumper or I have a, I don't have a mega chat bumper, but uh, Kex Berlin 
mega chatted. Appreciate that. Take my money and get yourself some German beer. Listen, Kex, I like German beer as much as the next guy. I love a good brow. You know, I love it. I'll go get some, uh, I'll get some good German beer. I will use your money to go get some, uh, some good, some good German beer. CJ Blues, I appreciate you, bro. Hope you're having a good week. Hey, Nick. Hey, CJ. Hey, CJ. Had another mega chatted here from, uh, that's right. There should be a way to go back and read them. It might just be a setting you don't have enabled. It might be a setting I just don't have enabled. Users in chat? No, I can filter that. Settings, chat settings. Dun, 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 Show moderation actions, okay. Chat appearance, deleted messages. First time pause chat, pop out chat. Oh, thank you, slightly buzzed. Emotes only chat. No, I don't want to do that. Followers only chat. No, I don't want to do that. Slow man is already on. Review recent raids. I don't know what that is. We've never done that. Clear chat. I can clear the chat. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not sure, so sure that I can go back and see them, but look, screenshotting them seems to be uh, working for me, at least right now. You know, when I first started streaming, oh, thank you, Dabrowski. When I first started streaming on YouTube, I had no idea. Like, I was trying to screenshot my phone to create the timestamps. I would start my timer at the beginning of the vlog, and when I started a new segment, I'd just take a screenshot and that was the timestamp for this. And that was the timestamp for that. And that's how I was like trying to keep track of timestamps. Craster image, what this do? That gave me a dollar. And thank you. I'm going to use that for German beer too. In fact, all my mega chats tonight might exclusively be used for German beer. Uh, we had a, one more that I missed here from uh, Mem Memstel. Hi, Grims. Greeting from Poland. What is your favorite squonker considering buying one? I will answer that question with this next segment. What I've been vaping. Do I don't have a bumper? I've never had a bumper for what I've been vaping, I don't think. Um, if you want to talk about squonkers, squonkers for me. All right, Sleepy Beats. Squonkers for me kind of begin and end with this little number right here. This is the snow cap. I just love it. It's a 3D printed Single 21700 mechanical squonker. This is the nitrous RDA on top. When I, if and when I do an end of 2021, like my favorite vape shit, this is probably going to be at the top of the pile. It's just a great, great, it's just a great, uh, great, great squonker. Screenshotting mega chats are, is annoying and I'm going to keep doing it. Really great squonker. Can't recommend this enough. Can't recommend this thing enough. It's just great. It's just great. That's a thing I've been vaping. Also, uh, Bosch Bronson, thank you. This heavily, heavily vaping. Another snow cap. This is the, uh, that was the avalanche squonker. This is the Denali, something like that. All right. Mega chat. And then I'll stop everything I'm doing. And then I'll just screenshot that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to be a dick. You know, I'm just trying to figure out a system here. This with this lemon cream butt cake from Testing Grounds Overdrip is some of the most amazing liquid I've ever had ever in my life. This is a setup that's just going to be a setup. There's something about the snow cap buttons, like the way they feel. And I don't know. It's just a real uh, physical, like tactile experience that I really, really like. Yeah, I had that banjo guitar tune, Divestel, Divestel. Yeah, I did have that banjo guitar tune for a bit. You're right. I'm I, just work for that. I know. Look, let's. I am. I am working. I want to show you guys this because it's the uh, Omboyosi Aria with. Look at it. What the hell just happened? What, what the fuck is happening? <sighs> <sighs> Knife fighter. Okay. 
This sub tank on top is what I really wanted to talk about because this is actually what I've been vaping. This is the, the new Sackers, super, super mega Sackers or something like that. All right, let me grab new wave Dave here. It's the super mega Sackers and I opened the rainbow version so nobody else had to. I was not gonna send the rainbow version to somebody. I opened it. Look at all those weird like snake skinny facets on there. It's a ridiculous looking tank. Here's the problem, vape's awesome. Vapes more than awesome. Vapes amazing. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, fuck YouTube, Matt. Matt Deal, I can do that quick mega chat. Fuck YouTube. Thank you, Matt Deal. Fuck YouTube. Here's what I'll say about YouTube. They don't like vaping and they don't like vapors and that's where they're at. My experience with YouTube in that appeal process, in the latest appeal process, my interactions with YouTube have always gone really, really smoothly, really, very smoothly. If there's an issue, they'll deal with it. I knew I was confident when I appealed that they, 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 you know, they solved it in a, in a decent amount of time for all intents and purposes. This could have been straight up on YouTube. They fixed it so fast that I didn't need to, you know, I didn't need to freak out there. Wait, I'm going to screen capture this just cause I want to get a face meat screenshot. Face meat says dry oatmeal. It's on Twitch now, you guys. Dry, dry oatmeal from Face Meat is on Twitch now. New Wave Dave made a gumbo. Did you or your cat make a gumbo? So in addition to those, this, this new jam from Inakin has been rocking. Rockin'. These are some damn good Inakin coil heads. I don't have a whole hell of a lot of faith in Inakin coil heads, but these, these are some good, like sub tank style Inakin coil heads. And it's even called the uh, Chroma 217. Thank you, Twisted Tunes. It's even called the Chroma 217. Remember the old Segeli 217s? You think it's a dig at that? So that's been amazing. And then you saw that the, the Hexome recoil. I'm going to do like a documentary about this setup. This is the best setup ever. Thank you, BJ Gabriel. This is, there's just nothing better. Uh, shout out to Lee, not the real Gerard Butler. Shout out to really every yo yo a cool kid. Hexome users. Hexome users. And, I, and I'm like, damn it, I'm going to get out my Hexome. And I got out my Hexome a few weeks ago and it hasn't really left my hand. It's been amazing. Amazing. Craster image, you mega chatting. Dry face oatmeal? Really? Really? Dry face oatmeal. Dry oatmeal face. And speaking of face meat, that's right. He chatted uh, that. There was some more I missed in there. New wave Dave. Okay, here we go. Here's a new wave Dave mega chat. I'm assuming it's about his cat. Damn it. My cat came out of the kitchen. <laughs> Jay Moore. Proud to be a new cool kid. Yo, yo, Jay Moore. Welcome, Jay Moore. I appreciate that. Clearly, this vlog's going to be all over the place tonight, but New Wave Dave. He says, my cat came out of the kitchen holding a cup and grinning. I can just picture your fucking cat doing that. He said, I made you a chocolate shake and laughed. I asked, you shit in it, didn't you? He yelled up, yep, tossed it in my face, ran off, yelling, give Nick five bucks, yak bong. Damn it, New Wave Dave. Your cat's out of control. Inco. Hey, Grim. Cheers to you and all the advocates in the chat. That's right. Or Transformers. I like that nomenclature so much better. Clive Bates coined the term Transformers. We're trying to transform smokers into vapors, and I just love that term. So I'm calling them Transformers now. Thank you, It's Not Smoke. Knife Fighter with the mega chat says, yo, yo, Nick, glad to see you got Twitch working. I did big thank you to Flitz on you. I wouldn't, I would not have been able to do this without Flitz on you. Everyone should go follow Flitz on you. Uh, K M C S D M F. What does that stand for? Please tell me what that stands for. What does that stand for? I'm here from the Mick, Mick Beavers. Here from the Late Night Vape Show. Shout out to the Late Night Vape Show. How are you guys doing? Uh, KMCSDMF says, 
I got two birthdays in my house. Mine, oh, okay, that's Kevin Chocolate, 1130. And my son, Zach, can we get a serenade? Of course. How about right now? Kevin Chocolate. I got you, Vape and Wolf TV. I see you there. Before we even get to Vape and Wolf TV, let's sing happy birthday. I wish I had a happy birthday bumper. I want to get a happy birthday bumper. Kevin, Ramier, Zach, Ronier. There was one, it was one one earlier, Ronier. We got we got Kevin Chocolate. We got Zach. Palmer's Powders is following me. And on that note, <clears throat> here's your note. It's a terrible note. Happy birthday to some people. Happy birthday to some people. Happy birthday to Kevin Chocolate, his son Zach, and R Ronnier. Happy birthday to you. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Sk <laughs> Kevin Chocolate, if you're not skipping around the room, like what are you even doing right now? What are you even doing right now? Uh, good boy. Appreciate that, bro. Just because you're awesome. Yeah, well, look, just because you're awesome. You're hanging out with awesome people doing awesome shit. Vaping Wolf TV. Uh, there was a flash of light. The new wave Dave's cat appeared. Shocking. And said, give me your clothes, your boots, and pay Nick $1. Also, what's up, cool kids? Fuck yeah, what's up, cool kids? I like that new wave Dave's cat is just interchangeable with like the Terminator, Chuck Norris, anything like tough or badass or like an anarchy or <laughs> it's just new wave Dave's cat. It's like, what's with the inflation? I don't know. Fucking ask new wave Dave's cat. Yeah. Ronnie, or is that you Ronnie or happy birthday to you? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. You know, I like that Twitch is a little bit more vape friendly, but I wish they kept the videos up for a little bit longer. Now, look, we're not going to talk about pods because Caliburn G2 came out. Caliburn G2 came out and it's just confusing and it vapes really, really good. And then the Geek Vape 1 pod has not left my hand. This is on its way. The Dawn, very appreciated. This is on its way to being like, look, I don't want to say things I can't take back, but it's on its way to being like pod of the year. It's damn, damn good. It's just damn, damn good. I know. Look, look, Nick Bassett. I see you there, Daily Vape TV. You can't get past me. They are owned by Amazon. Twitch is owned by Amazon. So maybe I feel like Jeff Bezos is busy being in space and might not care about vapors on Twitch, you know? <laughs> but good riddance. Like, go be in space. Oh, my God, this is a good vape. Oh, my God, this is a good vape. So one of the things that I would like to do tonight is... You want to review a band? This is going to be great. Let's review a band. Let's listen to some music. Let's chill for a second, have some beer, and, and review a band. Because th I, this is a service that I offer now. Apparently, I was, wasn't completely aware of. But I love it, and I'm here for it. Hang on, I'm rearranging my Twitch chat windows. It feels so weird being on Twitch. It weird, feels weird saying that I'm stream on I'm streaming on Twitch because I don't video games at the moment. I don't video games at the moment. Oh gosh, why did I do that? No, uh, Savon, I sent you a mega chat that you screenshotted and you forgot to read it. No worries. Is that true? Are you lying to me? You wouldn't. You I have no reason to believe that you'd be lying. Really? Was there another one? New Wave Dave. I kept all the screenshots. Knife Fighter. No. What do you got to say, uh, Jay Falcon? Great to see you on here, Grim. Uh, you've taken your first step into a larger world, a potentially new audience to save the <laughs> Yep. Save the world one former smoker at a time. The force is with you into a new world. Thank you, Jay Falcon. Uh, listen, I really apologize there. Hey, Grim, greetings from Poland. What's your favorite squonker? Was that the one? No, there was a different one. Oh, Saban. There I found you. Tom Sharo says, uh, I got pulled over. My vape was in my cup holder. My cots, my... Okay, wait, hang on. I have to screenshot this. <laughs> I can't read all that. 
<laughs> hey, wait, here's what we can do. Hang on. I can fix this. Here's what we can do. We can make these easier to read. We can make these easier to read. We can make those easier to read. Okay, Tom Sharo. Mega chat. I got pulled over and my vape was in my cup holder. The cop said, you know, the news says those things are killing people. I chuckled and said, they're saying the same thing about you guys. <laughs> he didn't laugh. Tom Sharo. Tom Sharo. In with the comedy. I'm still looking for that one. Yes, here's the link that might help you. Oh, Streamlabs dashboard slash donations. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's see, where am I back here? Okay, we should be good now. Okay. I think we got through all of the all of those mega chats. Flitz on you is trying to give you some advice in the chat here. He says, chatters on mobile. You have to go to Grimm's Twitch profile and then about in order to see the mega chat button. That's just how Twitch mobile works. Uh, touch the video, then Grimm's profile will come up. Click on Nick's avatar picture, then go to the about section. Oh, good Lord. Twitch is complicated. You know, on YouTube, all you have to do is press the... All you have to do is press the super chat button. So the Kirsch, that's right. Ranger Rusty, that's right. The Kirsch, I apologize. The Kirsch is, the Kirsch can be really, really good. I have a Kirsch that hasn't been getting a lot of use. I'm sorry, it's pronounced Kirch with a hard C-H. Kirch. I got a Kirch right now. It doesn't get a ton of use, but when I do use it, I really, really do enjoy it. It's a little bit wonky to build on, and you have to be careful like I had to be careful with that center post. But if you can get a little build in there, it's a nice little banger. It is real, real, real easy to wick, it, and it does vape real nice. It's very restricted. That's what I would say. It's very restricted. Yeah, slightly buzzed. The, the replays will be on YouTube. Replays will be on YouTube. So the Kirch flavor's banging. There's some Jubbies in there. Where you are, Derek? Jubbies 2024. Oh, see, there you go. That's easier to read. That's much easier to read, but Andy Dwyer's so much smaller and it's just so much less entertaining. I appreciate that, Duchess. Before we get to that Duchess super chat, mega chatted, let's review a band. And I don't have a bumper for this, but this is kind of going to replace for this week the... Uh, that one favorite thing, there's still an assignment America out there and I'm looking for videos of your favorite setups. I just want to see them. I want to see a video. Pictures are acceptable, but I would like to see videos. I want to see your face and I want to hear your voice and you, I want to hear you say, my name is New Wave Dave and my cat won't let me vape anymore, you know? So there's still an assignment America out there. This is kind of this week going to be replacing Assignment America, and we're going to review a band. We're going to review Turkey Terror. Yeah. We're going to review Turkey Terror. A good boy. You wanted to send another bro just cuz? I appreciate that, good boy. Very much. Hope you're doing kick ass. W would you like to listen to some Turkey Terror? Turkey Terror. I can't find the email associated with this particular artist. When I want, I want to say artist instead of band because I believe this is one gentleman playing all of the instruments, writing and recorded and playing everything. This is like a Dave Grohl situation we have on our hands. It's Turkey Terror. I believe Turkey is his name, last name possibly. This is Turkey Terror. Matt Sinister. Now Club Sinister is on Twitch. What's up, Club Sinister? Fuck yeah, Club Sinister on Twitch. Do push-ups, Matt. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you don't have to do push-ups. <laughs> you've, you've done plenty. You've done plenty. So we're going to listen. Just for a second, listen. We're just going to listen for a second. I'm going to turn myself down. Um, I'm going to adjust this volume here, and we're going to uh, we're gonna listen to Turkey Terror, and I want some... Uh, Earn is already just 0 out of 10 for the... Bra for the band name zero out of 10 for their band name all right you guys you guys are tough critics you know it's a tough critic tough crowd but this is a song called uh like share subscribe take it away turkey terror i'm gonna have a beer Let's 
it's all madness, just social media nonsense. You're not successful, you're gonna fly. Share this post with you, my dad, tonight. Tonight you might die. Clipping, clip your channel, I'm proud. Share the song, bro, help me out. Just tell me out and like. Put down your phone and go outside. You look real different in real life. Got a selfie stick, get a bright white light. Flare to make up nothing bright. Instagram bots and sponsorships. Pay me money to show my tits. Send me money, I'll send you news. No online's different than probably do. Let's make cleavage and I'm not proud. Share the song, bro. Help me out. Just tell me out and like. Your edgy captions make you look so mental We know you posted it just for attention And money from ads, you know that I mentioned Ring ring is notification, pick up your phone so you don't feel so alone Click me, click me, but you know I'm proud to share this song, bro, help me out just help Turkey Terror. That was like, share, and subscribe by Turkey Terror. A lot of, a lot of interesting uh, reviews. You know, it's, it's one of those things where I, I can't come down too hard on anybody that kind of puts themselves out there and just says, I'm going to record this song and I'm just going to put it out there. You know, that, that, that takes a lot of balls. <laughs> it takes a lot of balls to do that. With that said, I think Turkey Terror, I see a lot of potential in Turkey Terror. I noticed uh, as soon as we got to that chorus, look, Mr. Turkey Terror isn't the strongest singer. Like vocally, you can tell he's not like the strongest singer. He's trying pretty hard, but it sounds a little bit off sometimes. You know, on, on that chorus, you're like, like, share and subscribe. It's like kind of a chorusy effect. I liked it that it wasn't, you remember opposite the shipwreck? I liked that it wasn't just uh, one solid tempo like opposite the shipwreck was. He, he mixed it up a lot. There was some, you know, some skanking ska beats there at the beginning, you know? It's like Southern California. Got a little bit punky. Look, I, I, this is leaps and bounds better than any of the early music that I ever recorded. So, so that counts for something, Turkey Terror. That, sounds, that counts for something. Turkey Terror. So if you're into it, go find uh, Turkey Terror out there, out there on the interwebs. I'm sure maybe they're on Spotify. You want to check and see if they're on Spotify? Turkey, Turkey Terror. Uh, it's on Spotify. There you go. This whole EP is on Spotify. Like, share, and subscribe. That's the first song off of this. One man band. That's right. It's a one man band. It's just this dude. Turkey Terror, solo artist based out of Southern California. Matt, punk rock, skate punk. Hell yeah, Turkey Terror. Keep it going, Turkey Terror. If you're out there, get on some Turkey Terror. Oops, I missed this mega chat. Boom. Got it. Got it. It does sound like a band. Right, right, Ern? It sounds like a band you would have been in. <laughs> sounds like a band I would have been in. I think I was in that band for a while. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, I'm going to just real quickly check in on any mega chat screenshots that I have. Sure. That's enough. That's all you need. Uh, let's see. We had one from, uh, Koloki. 
Koloki, Mega Chatted. Hey, Nick, it's your favorite cousin, Barbara. Okay, different screen name, but I promise I'll still harass you regularly. Good, thank you. Love you. Uh, shout out to Vape Fam and the Green Fam. Got to talk to your dad last week. Yep, I'm headed up there tomorrow morning. Headed up there tomorrow morning, Santa Rosa. Go visit dad. Uh, just overdue. It's one of those things. I'm just headed up there. I just missed the man. Uh, OG Hooligan says, uh, drinking a triptych gooseberry sour. That sounds really good. Triptych makes really good stuff. Triptych. 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 Jimmy James. Cheers, Jimmy James. I'll snag that one right there. Uh, and then we got Gaboy. Just want to send you another one, bro. Just cuz. I like your style, Gaboy. I like your style. And then Knife, bite, knife Fighter. Did I get to Knife Fighter? Going to sign off now as it's 1 a.m. here. Holy shit, Knife Fighter. We'll catch you on the replay crew. Yo, yo, have a great night to you and all the cool kids. Hell yeah, Knife Fighter. Appreciate you, man. Let's see, did I skip any other here? There was, uh, there was some Duchess. There was Matt Sinister. Yes, Matt Sinister right there. Powerbomb YouTube. <laughs> Through this desk. That would, that would destroy a man. He is broken in half. That would destroy a man, Duchess, or Matt Sinister. Now, Duchess mega chatted. I hope the rest of your vlog goes well, bud, but I have to head to bed for work tomorrow because, you know, us East Coasters are already done with the day when it's like lunchtime on the other side of the country. Be excellent to each other, boosh. Listen, Duchess, I get it. Uh, I get it that you've um, lived on the East Coast now for a few months. <laughs> And you really just dove right into it. You're like, nope, I'm an East Coaster now. Born and raised in Arizona, but now I'm an East Coaster. More power to you. More power to you, Duchess. Uh, Koloki, uh, Kol Oki, as in California improved Oki. Oh, Cal Oki. Cal Oki, Barbara. Cal Oki. Sewer rug. Holy crap. What did you say, sewer rug? I'm just, it's just easier for me to take screenshots than try to read it off of the screen. Sewer Rug said, sang it in my head. Heard it through the sewer line that you would be on the Twitch live. Ah, oh, that is slick. That is even the, ex that is the exact right syllables for that, for that phrase as well. Yo, yo, thanks for all you do. For the sewers of the world, sewer rug. You know, I feel like we owe you a little, a, a little, a little hat tip for your service of climbing down and cleaning up our poop and stuff. You know, getting down there, cleaning up the poop like you do. Clean up that poop. Okay. Well, we reviewed a band. What time is it? I would like to. Let's open mail. What's keeping us from opening any mail right now? Is anything keeping us from doing any mail right now? I don't see why not. Is that too loud? Felt like that could have been a little bit too loud. Mary X Matt. Boosh. Hello to you. Tribal Buddha. Hello to you. Not that you weren't here before, but I just saw your name pop up. And it's interesting on Twitch when people change their names and then you see Tribal Buddha and he's got not like the USMC in his little picture. It's Buddha. And now it's like, it's like I'm learning everybody's names again. <laughs> Frames Janklin, at least, at least, at least Frames Janklin kept his name Frames Janklin. Uh, was there a, wait, did, was there a Vapen Wolf super chat that I missed Vapen Wolf? All right, look. Nope, not so far. Good boy. Knife Fighter. Duchess. Tom Sharo. We're already back to Tom Sharo. Good boy. Face Meat. No, we're already back to Face Meat. I apologize if I missed you. I'm having a hard time. You know, I'm just struggling to keep up with these. But that's okay. Look, that's part of the... It's part of the experience. So, mail. I have some mail. I know these are just going to be pods. I know these are just going to be pods. This is not going to be like the most exciting thing on earth. I have a feeling this is just going to be pods because I just saw the name that it came from. And it said, uh, Calc. Calc. Oh, no. 
I don't know if I can show these on YouTube or if Vaporesso will get mad at me. I don't know. Look, but they have some new targets out. They have a target 200 and a target 100. The problem is I know Vapresso is very serious about their PMTAs and they don't want to be seen as marketing, you know, marketing without a PMTA approval. So I'm not necessarily going to show. Let me show these real quick. Vapresso, target 200. Vapresso, target 100. I want to open this 200 so bad. We'll just call this, from now on, the Vaporesso Target 200 is now called the Tegrat. The Tegrat. That's right. The Tegrat 200. Yes, if anybody's looking for a... Yes, Inco, good call. Good call there. If anyone's looking for a gift, Colin Mendelson's book is available on Amazon. Uh, we are having Colin Mendelson on TBN in two weeks, and I'm really very, very, very excited about it. I just want to see this device because it looks cool as hell. I like everything about this, and I don't want to get Vapresso in trouble, but I like everything about this. Maybe I can show this just in the middle of a stream. That's a dual 18650. It is a small little hand feel, and this is like... It feels like, uh, you know, material, like pants. feels like pants. It's like pants mod. feels like pants. It does have a raised 510 on there. That's got to be to accommodate for, their, for the size of their tank, right? You know what's stuck in my head, you guys? Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Okay, Vapresso, I don't want to get you in trouble. Like I said, I know they're taking like this PMTA stuff seriously. They're not even going to put their stuff on YouTube. I think I told you guys this story. I had a, I had reviews all ready to go for the Cross 2 and the Cross Mini. It was like I was a second away from publishing these videos. Vapresso was like, no, 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 no. Don't. Don't do it. Shit. Shit. Where is this coming from? <sighs> Some packages arrive in the mail from China just so wrapped in that yellow tape that you just, you can't even find the end. You're like, no, nope, I'm just going to start cutting into the cardboard. Cutting into the cardboard. Oh, dang. What up, smock? What up, smock? It's a it's a Nord Pro kit. Nord Pro. Nord Pro. Oh, that honestly looks pretty slick. It's got that gigantic Nord drip tip. It's got that big Nord mouthpiece on there. The Nord Pro. Look how pro. You don't even know how pro this is. This is hella pro. You can't tell. Look at that hella pro wood. Look at that hella pro mouthpiece. I don't know anything about this. Looks like you can do direct lung or mouth to lung by flipping the mouthpiece around. Wow. Okay. Okay, Nord Pro. Look, I know smock generates a lot of uh controversy i do tom shaw i feel a little bit more pro i feel <laughs> i feel a little bit more pro you know after holding the nord pro i was like whoa am i a pro am i a pro now <laughs> am i i might be a pro now tom shaw you shit nord pro all right i'm gonna start using that instantly i'm gonna start using that today Nord Pro. Nord Pro. We got a package here from uh, Stephen? Stefan? Stephen. PA? Uh, Tribal Buddha. Tribal Buddha? Stephen Stefan? Steve? <laughs> uh, 
I'm just waiting for the one day when someone's like, hey, can I get your address? And I'm like, yeah. And they send me just a giant box of just packing peanuts. They're kind of half expecting this in here. What, 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 what is this? I knew it. I knew it, Tribal Buddha. I knew it. Yo, yo, Nick. He says, I have taken it upon myself to start a cool kids line of juice. The inspiration has been the nonsensical topics and conversations we get into on the IG streams. <laughs> Hopefully the sheer insanity of this will brighten your day and bring a smile and chuckle to you. The first juice we have is the soon to be famous Lube Derb. <laughs> Lube Derb. Vape Lube Derb moisturize your lungs. Br fig bread pudding. The second one is the already infamous Preparation H. This is an iced lychee. <laughs> you get smacked with lychee fruit up front and intense cooling on the back end. <laughs> cooling on the back end. That's comedy. That's com That's funny. <laughs> The third juice is the one I promised a while ago. Barbed berry pie, strawberry rhubarb pie. Enjoy. Holy crap, Steve. Steve, Tribal Buddha, thank you uh, so much. I like, look, you know, I'm a sentimental son of a bitch. Barbed berry pie. Whoa. Blue Buddha. What do we got here? Preparation H. <laughs> Luberdurb. I can't believe I have a liquid bottle now that says Lubedurb. Lubedurb, vape it. Vape Lubedurb, moisturize your lungs. Moisturize your throat with Lubedurb vape. <laughs> Lubedurb. <laughs> Travel Buddha. Fucking A. Steve. Thanks, Steve. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. And let's see, I'm, I'm assuming after this, I'll probably do a little bit of news. And then after that, you guys, I need help. I need help with e-liquids. Oh, I don't know what I saw. I saw nothing. I saw the edge of something round and I was like, oh, what's that? What could that be in there? Feels good on the whole. Oh, Torin! Oh shit, Torin! I got some Torin. I got some hot Torin action. I'm not sure what's on here. T Thunderhead Creations. Sorry, Thunderhead Creations. Thunderhead Creations. These can't. Uh, Max Rota. Okay. Let's see what's what's in here from Thunderhead Creations. The first thing I saw was just airflows, so I'm assuming that these airflows need to go somewhere. I'm gonna venture a guess that one of these is a topper, and one of these could be a mod. And I'm glad they tie them like this. <laughs> and. Looks like an RDTA. Actually, that might not be an RDTA. I was just guessing. Thunderheads Elite. Holy shit, it is an RDTA. So this is the Elite RDTA. Is that an RDTA? It's a mouth to lung RTA? Okay, it seems to be de to do restricted direct lung or all the way down to a mouth to lung. I wish I knew how the airflow was working in there because, oh, I see. I see. It's one of those graduated airflows. Wow. I wonder if that's actually going to be good for mouth to lung, though. Because it's not closing your airflow down under your coil. It's closing the airflow down on the outside of the RTA. Just as a mouth-to-lung vapor for so long, I know that that's not ideal. That ain't ideal. All right, well, there's two of these RTAs here. 
I think, you know what? I'm gonna have to end up opening all of these separately because I have a feeling each one is gonna be a slightly different thing. Uh, it's also super helpful that none of the bags are labeled in any way as to what's inside. All right. Oh, this is something else. Okay, this is something else. This is the Torin Max RDTA. RDTA! There's an actual RDTA. RDTA. Too much rip trippers? All right. Actual RDTA. Look at that. Little reservoir down there. Look at that. What is this deck? Look at this deck. What is that? What are those? Look at that deck. Maybe I'm just out of the loop with Torin stuff, but that deck looks bonkers. I'm assuming you put a coil in this way and a coil in that way. Like they just, you your coils are, leads will be facing up. Then it sits down in a little cradle. And then you have four holes that go down into that little tiny, 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 tiny little reservoir. Dang. All right. Look, I'm, uh, I've, I've never like loved, loved an RDTA, but that doesn't mean that I may not love this because I told Snowcat mods the same thing. I said, oh, I've never really loved a squonker. And now it's going to be my fucking setup of the year. So who knows? You know what? I could be completely blown away, blown away by an RDTA. It's the Y RDTA. Okay, this one just says gun. It's in a completely different packaging than everything else. It's fine. Oh, this is the same RTA. All right. This is the same RTA in a completely different packaging. <laughs> Well, if, at least if they're nothing else. They're consistent, I guess. Different packaging for every product. I'm assuming that these airflows are for that RTA. And if that's the case, then that's much better because this is an actual one millimeter. 0.8, Lee. 0.8, not the real Gerard Butler. 0.8. Vape 0.8 mouth to lung. And then, wait, there's one more thing in here. There could theoretically be five different products here, and I've only opened a few of them. Because, again, nothing's labeled. Uh, this looks to be the same thing that I just opened. In stainless. Okay, so I have two black ones, maybe two stainless ones, and an RDTA. Interesting. Interesting little... Sh sh how do you say it? Smorgasbord? Sh Smorgasbord? smorgasbord of vape stuff from Torin. It's honestly nice to see some Torin stuff again. I haven't I haven't got to review anything of theirs in a while. I think uh Tribal Buddha, we might have to make a very special exemption and vape this Lubiderm tonight. Lubiderm. We might have to vape the Lubiderm in addition to the super goods. We might have to vape the Lubiderm. Might have to vape the Lubiderm. So there was... Okay, I want to make sure right now that I didn't miss any Super Chats. Have I missed some chats? You guys would tell me, right? Sewer Rug was the last one to Super... To Mega Chat, sorry. Mega Chat. Heard it through the sewer line. Why was wrong to be mine? Heard it through the sewer line. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a way to go back and see these chats. Flits on you. Let's see. There's Legion. I see you there, Legion Vapes. What's up, brother? What's up, Jake Scrapwood? Nope. All I can do is reply to you. First time chat from viewer Frank Gundry. I was wondering where the vlog was. This is crazy. Everything good, Nick? Listen, we're, we're as good as we can be today. We are on Twitch, and we are uh, enjoying literally every second of it. I like the Boxer V2 RDTA. I did. I really like that one a lot. That was a really good RDTA. But that was, you know, that's kind of like a, I don't know, billet box. I don't know if I would consider that. I guess it is still technically an RDTA, isn't it? It's still technically an RDTA. 
All right. Well, if I didn't actually miss any Mega Chats, then that's spectacular because I would just like to throw a little bit of news and advocacy at you. News and advocacy, yeah. Yeah. So, again, look, this week there's two things that I really care about, and that is this, and that is this. The bottom QR code, which I'll have linked to in the description, I believe Addy Tooney's putting the link in the chat as we go here. This is for the, the nicotine tax. This is for the nicotine tax. There are people that currently want this nicotine tax gone. People in Congress are actively wanting to help us. There are, there are three people. If you're in New Mexico or if you're in Arizona, Nevada, or West Virginia, contact your senators immediately because they're they're kind of already on board with hating this nicotine tax. This nicotine tax is horrible. It's regressive. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse into the ground now. It will only raise prices on nicotine for vaping. It does not raise the price of cigarettes. It does not raise the price of combusted tobacco. This only raises the price of safer nicotine products. And that is fucking bananas that in the United States, listen to this. We want some rage sweat, new wave, Dave in the United States, the food and drug administration has said, said appropriate for the protection of public health. The views solo vaping product is appropriate for the protection of public health based on our obscenely rigorous standards. The FDA has already said that vaping is appropriate for the protection of public health. It's out there. So now that we have this known, appropriate for the protection of public health, how on earth do we still have politicians pushing for nicotine bans to make vaping more expensive than smoking? What's, what sense does that make? Does that make any sense in any capacity? Any capacity at all? That's like buying a car and then, oh, but if you want seatbelts, that is, you, you're going to get taxed more if you want to drive safely. I've used that analogy before, but it still works. Oh, you want to drive your car? Okay, you can drive your car. Oh, wait, wait, you want to do it in a, in a reduced harm manner? What, you want airbags? Okay, that's going to cost you. <laughs> that's, you're going to be taxed harder if you have airbags. You'd be taxed less if you drove a motorcycle with no helmet. Then you'll pay no taxes. But if you want to drive safely in a car with airbags and a seatbelt, taxes. We're going to tax the fuck out of it. We're going to make vaping more expensive than smoking. We're going to de incentivize what FDA has already said is appropriate for the protection of public health. We're going to de incentivize what the United Kingdom is prescribing already to the smokers in their country. Incredible. Welcome to America, where fucking nothing makes sense. So please, do this CASA call to action. That's all I care about. That's literally all I care about is this CASA call to action. Fight this tax. This tax... Where's my Gandalf staff? This tax shall not pass. It cannot pass. Can not pass. Goodbye DIY. Goodbye every vendor. Goodbye vaping. Goodbye everything. This this cannot pass. Tribal butta. There's a new, new juice ready to drop. It's named the YouTube jail drink. <laughs> it's black cherry lime cola. Cherry lime cola sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Tribal Buddha. I like cherry colas. The YouTube prison. It's a terrible place to be. It's a terrible place to be because I felt instantly like cut off from everybody. I was like, oh no, <laughs> I can't communicate with any of my subscribers right now. If they follow me on Twitter, they'll see this. If, they if they're if they friends with me on Facebook, they'll see this. If they're on Instagram, they'll see this. But there was no way for me to go, hey, YouTube, I, they messed me up and I can't talk to you guys. Powerbomb the nicotine tax. Powerbomb it into the ground. Um, coming up next week, um, if I want to throw this in the news and advocacy as well, coming up next week, uh, Charles Gardner. 
Charles Gardner, PhD, is going to be joining me on uh, TBN. Yeah, we're going to talk about uh, Mike Bloomberg, the World Health Organization. We're going to talk about how exponentially different the United Kingdom and the United States are treating less harmful vapor products. <laughs> we're going to talk about the tides changing. Uh, it should be really, really fun. In fact, let me tease you with a... Oh, no, never mind. I thought I had a, a thumbnail. Oh, there I do. Next week, Charles Gardner is back. Charles, Charles, Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Uh, we're going to be chatting and uh, should be uh, real good times. And the week after, Colin Mendelson's joining us on TBN. There's just a just a whole slew of guests for the TBN show. It's going to be good. Other than that, other than this, there's not much I care about. This is the eSig Intelligence Consumer Survey. If you really wanted to do me a favor, you would fill out this survey if you're a vape consumer. This goes for literally anybody in the chat can do this. It's a little involved. It's going to take you some time. It's going to you're going to go, "Okay, I'm going to do this." And it's going to take you about 15 minutes. It's it's information. It's everything about your buying habits, your vaping habits, how you use your vape, nicotine strengths. This is a this is done every year and it's always incredible incredible information. Incredible information. So please do that. Please do both of these. Please do both of those. And that's really all I care about this week. Uh, I want to give a shout out to um, this fella, Matt Felderman, posted this in the Gr Grim Army, fear-mongering clickbait with a new twist. That's right. So there was a headline that's been circulating around the news cycle recently where <laughs> the sheriff in this town said that he was exposed to fentanyl through a vape pen. That's the headline. Students vape pen had fentanyl in it. Tennessee sheriff says three school workers were exposed. So, A, that's not how fentanyl works. And two, you can't put it, fentanyl in a vape pen. That's not a possibility that you just can't. It's not a thing that is physically possible to do. And then and, and two, that's not how fentanyl works. And then you'll notice in the actual article, if you disregard the headline, the sheriff, the school resource officer who wasn't exposed to fentanyl said the opioid was not contained in the vape pen cartridge. So the sheriff said there was fentanyl in a vape pen, which there wasn't. And then a representative from the school, the school resource officer said, no, no, there was no fentanyl or opioids in a vape pen. Okay. So now that's out there in the public narrative. Now the goddamn Karens who think that vaping is worse than smoking for you, now they have another thing in their hat to go, well, now you can put fentanyl in it. You can't. You can't. And that is misleading. And it's just wrong and bad. And you can tell anybody posting that, read the article. Read the article. Because all you have to do is read the article where it says, it was not contained in the vape pen cartridge. Fentanyl and opioid was not in the vape pen cartridge. You know how I know that? Because it's not possible. It's not possible. It's weird. I was driving my car and it was acting weird. And I looked in my gas tank. It was full of bullets. Somehow I was driving with bullets. No, you weren't. That's not possible. That sounds fucking ridiculous to a rational person. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so apart from that, I had one last thing to say. This is my new enemy. I've had a lot of enemies. Stanton Glantz, Scott Gottlieb, Gerald Harmon. Gerald Harmon is the president of the American Medical Association, president of the American Medical Association. And he made a blog post recently as president of the American Medical Association, saying that the decision of the Food and Drug Administration to allow an e-cigarette on the market was a terrible idea. He said it was the wrong choice. Harm reduction is the wrong choice choice. Gerald E. Harmon, MD, president of the American Medical Association, is just a science denier. I couldn't believe what I was reading. I felt like I was in, alt in an alternate universe where this was like satire, but it's not. It's not. 
He says that by the FDA acknowledging this, it's just going to cause more people to smoke cigarettes. He says that the CDC estimates that there's more than 2 million youths still vaping. I mean, I'm not going to say that he's wrong, but that's after a year over year 60% drop in youth vaping. Sure. Wasn't it? Listen, wasn't it Kenneth Warner, uh, Dean Emeritus, the University of Michigan School of Public Health, it's no big deal, who said that if we keep focusing on preventing youth vaping, that we're going to stop adults from transitioning away from combustible tobacco cigarettes? This guy doesn't even believe that science. So I have a little bit of a vendetta now with Gerald E. Harmon, science denier, president of the American Medical Association, science denier, denies the science that FDA has said that these are appropriate for the protection of public health. Tom Sharo says he looks like Frodo Baggins. Here's the thing. I'm not sure. I'm trying really, really difficult to not make fun of his appearance because that is not a real legitimate argument to have. And it just kind of makes me look dumb. He honestly looks like one of the nicest guys ever on earth. He looks like a guy that would just offer you butterscotch candies and might know how to like fix your timing belt. You know, it looks like he'd be wearing overalls and he'd just come out and go, oh, something wrong with your timing belt? We can get that taken care of right now. No, no charge, of course. Here, take these butterscotch candies with you. Have a great day. He seems like that guy. When I look at him, I'm like, I like you. I want to be friends with you. Why are you a science denier? How can you pos how can how can the president of the American Medical Association go, oh, FDA is wrong? for following the science and approving a less harmful alternative to cigarettes that is, are already all over a you know, multitude of other countries. We have the lowest youth vaping and smoking and adult smoking le levels in the history of recorded time in America. But Gerald thinks that the FDA was wrong to approve an e-cig. Gerald is a science denier, and that upsets me. It upsets me that the president of the American Medical Association is a science denier. So, doesn't matter. Vaping didn't help me. It didn't help you. It didn't help anybody. You're all just fooling yourselves that you're quit smoking for this long. I know it's been almost 13 years for me, but we don't really know if this is an effective alternative to cigarettes. There's no evidence except for all of us. <laughs> That vaping works in any capacity. Unbelievable. Haven't had a cigarette in 13 years. So, look. <coughs> That's it. I hit that, I hit that a, little too, a little too aggressively. And I tried to talk through my vapor, which is never a good thing. Sorry. Just wanted to have a, uh, you know, taste right there. Okay. So there's two things that I want to happen right now. I don't think there were any more mega chats. Have I been missing them or has nobody been sending them? Like, I'm not trying to say what the hell happened to the mega chats. I'm just saying I'm, I'm living in terror of missing them and I don't want to miss them. Or maybe it's that I've missed too many. And Billy's like, no, I'm not, I was going to send a mega chat, but now I'm not. Cause I know that Nick won't read it. So there you go. Um, there is one last, last vape mail package that we are going to open right Shirts off in the pit. Shirts off in the pit. I don't know why I always say that. It's because I went, I, when I saw, there was a hardcore band I saw one time. And uh, they played an indoor, like an indoor, it was like a barn, you know, like one of those venues where it's like dirt on the floor and it's just hot and it's like a barn and it's not sealed on the bottom. There's like air coming in through the bottom, you know, it was like that type of venue and uh, it was just really hot in there. So at first they had everybody spitting on the ground to keep the dust down, which is disgusting. And then, uh, through one of the songs, the singer started shouting shirts off in the pit, shirts off in the pit. And so everybody, all these hot and sweaty dudes just started taking all their shirts off. 
Look, hardcore shows are weird, man. I have to give a huge shout out to the Reluctant Pamcakes PSS. Pam, I owe you so tremendously. I could never repay you for this. She was critical, critical in getting this across the finish line as all of you will be critical, critical in getting these across the finish line. And what I'm talking about, oh wait, I got a little note from Pam maybe. This is about to make my day. Ah, oh, thank you, Pam. Pam always sends me, when she signs her name Pam, the P is a big smiley face. And you just can't not smile when you get when you get the note from Pam. I'm so excited for this. So I guess this, mo, some of the beans have been spilled. Some of the beans have been spilled there, Sexy King Phil. I am actively, oh, thank you, Scotty H. Appreciate that. I am actively, 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 actively working on a, on a liquid line for the UK. I'd like to take more credit for this than I can because all of the credit really needs to go to the flavor wizardry people at super good in the United Kingdom. Now, this is going to sound like a sales pitch and it kind of is, but it also kind of isn't. I have vaped a lot of liquids, loads, gallons of liquids. I am continuously impressed with super good and their line, and even the ones that I don't like from Super Good are still good. Like, I think, well, this flavor is amazing. I just don't want to vape it. This flavor is amazing. I just don't want to vape it. I love Super Good liquids. And when the idea came into my head that I wanted to do a UK e liquid line, not, you know, to celebrate the United Kingdom, there was no one else I wanted to do it with other than Super Good. There was no one else I wanted to do it with other than super good. So these are the final super grim. Come on, super grim. These are the, the, the final super grim flavors. I need to add uh, nicotine to them, which I have. I'm going to end up, you know, obviously tasting all of these, but for now, Oh, this is going to be too difficult. Oh my God, this is going to be too difficult. I don't know how I'm going to narrow this down. Okay, so... That one... Oh man! This is too difficult. This is too difficult. This is way too difficult. So uh, let's pick, I'm gonna pick three of these and you guys are gonna decide which one I try first. <laughs> I can't wait, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So, in fact, we're gonna do two liquid tastings because not only do I want to try the very first super grim flavor, I also want to try Lubiderm. <laughs> I desperately want to try Lubiderm. Lubiderm, 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 Lubiderm. So, um, I have no way to do a poll in this uh, stream, do I? I just realized that. Let me let me text my uh, tech support flits on you. I think he's been texting me. If you have your Streamlabs dashboard open on recent activity, it might show the PayPal. Okay, okay, yeah, that's right. That's what you're showing me. Activity feed? No, it doesn't show me that. Community? No, stream manager? No. Edit stream info, clip this. Let's see, there's a... Oh, and then there's a little, uh, there's like a little chat feature. Okay, I like that a whole bunch. I, I it can't, I can't, uh, Streamlabs. Oh, Streamlabs, not Twitch. Streamlabs, not Twitch. That's right, Streamlabs. Um, recent events? Oh, yeah. Oh, here they are. Here, here's kind of some of them. Okay, that's a way. Okay, so Chrome sent one too. 
and said, uh, I sent one that was missed as well, but so what? I'm sorry, Chrome. I'm sorry. Matt Sinister said finally blowing mud and now Twitch. <laughs> Twitch cares lit kapow. Sewer rug. Okay, that's where I got. Okay, okay. So I can see these. I can see the last few super chats. Okay, that's smart. Okay, that's great. Great, Flitz. Flitz on you. Thank you. Have I mentioned Flitz on you in the chat? You should go follow him on Twitch. Follow Flitz on you on Twitch. Oh, it was Michelle Lynn's birthday? Happy birthday to Michelle Lynn. Happy birthday to Michelle Lynn. Happy birthday to Michelle Lynn. Skip around the room, Michelle. Happy birthday. Skip around the room. Okay, so there is, yeah, Flitz on you is OG. Now, is there a way to do a poll? Okay, so I'll, this is a spam the chat vote. This is a spam the chat vote. I didn't think ahead. I didn't think ahead to this. This is a spam the chat vote. So I hope everybody gets ready to spam the chat. So I'm going to have you just spam single words. Okay? 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 Single words. Vote for the one that you want to win. Okay? There is a mango raspberry iced tea. We're going to say mango for that one. There was an, let's just call it RY4. We're going to do RY4 for that one. And there is a rhubarb orange, orange custard strawberry. So we're going to say custard for that one. Okay? Are you guys ready to vote? get to voting. Mango, RY4, or custard. Mango, RY4, or custard. Mango, RY4, custard. Mango, RY4, custard. Mango, RY4, custard. Mango, RY4, custard. Dude, custard's coming out strong. That is a strong custard showing. That is a, okay, that is a strong custard showing. I've seen a few mangoes. I've seen a few RY4s in there. But uh, it looks like, oh, okay, some devil is spamming the RY4s there. Custard, custard, custard. Good Lord. Good Lord. The custard might be winning. Lubiderm is, is, a, is already a winner. Lubiderm is getting vaped tonight. I can't not vape Lubiderm. But it looks like custard is definitely going to win this one tonight. I can't say for sure, but it looks like custard is going to win. That's fine. Look, these are all going to get vaped hard. But the first one, the first Super Grim. Holy crap. You have no idea how I'm excited about this. Custard won. No no need to keep, va va keep voting. Custard won. Shit shake. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. Funky. I forgot about that song. You didn't think I did, but I did. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. Fuck yeah. Where did my, uh... Here it is. This is the greatest invention I've ever received in my life is a short fill opener. What if it's bad? If it's bad, it's bad. If it's bad, we go back to the drawing board, you know? If it's bad, it's bad. That's it. If it's bad, whoops, it's bad. But I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be. Oh no no money no. No no no. That is that's that's not accurate. This is the this is these are the, like the final versions. These are like the final final versions of these liquids. Final final versions. There were some tweaks and look, there's like one two three four five six seven eight nine liquids here that. I'm going to hopefully narrow down to like four or five for like the final, final release. Um, short fills. So these require nicotine. I'm just going to put, uh, you know, make this a three milligram. So, you know, the UK, <laughs> the UK even has short fills like, dang. <laughs> mix your, mix your liquid at home. We, 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 we support vaping, but. 
we're going to make laws so that you have to mix your liquid at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does that make sense for the consumer? I don't know. This is, this is a, this was a diff. <laughs> rhubarb, orange, strawberry, custard, uh, speculose. So cookie butter. So there's a good chance this could be a rhubarb, a rhubarb, orange, custard, strawberry, cookie butter. And I don't know if it, if, if, man, I don't know if there's anything better than that. I want to eat that as a dessert. Like I would like to eat that right now. Cookie butter, rhubarb, orange, strawberry, custard. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, what we're going to be tasting this out of is a TM24 Pro Series with a crystal cap. These are not uh, the God Coils. These are not the God Coils in here. These are just some aliens. But that's a TM24 Pro Series. Threw it on top of that, uh, the, the Vupu Argus GT. This thing never really got any love. I never saw Vupu promoting it very much. But it is one of my favorite regulated devices. Easily hands down one of my favorite regulated devices. It's good. Okay, I'm just trying to, you know, I want to get this. And listen, we're going to have to wait until next week. I'm probably going to taste a few more of these between now and next week. But I'm going to save one more super grim for next week as well. I'm still not confident with this. I'm going to shake this just a little bit more, just a hair more, just a few more seconds. <sighs> These aren't the God Coils, but I've vaped the God Coils since the God Coil vlog. They're still God Coils. I mean, I call them the God Coil. I actually think, I actually think like Kent's Staggertons are uh, a better vape than the God Coil. God coil just takes the God coil is the God coil because it takes, you know, crazy amounts of effort and thinning down of wires. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. Funk air. Yeah. 0.13. Try 75 watts. 0.13, 75 watts. TM24 Pro Series, little crystal cap here. Oh, look at that. Burned my finger. That's good. I like it. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. Funky. Rhubarb. Orange custard strawberry cookie butter. Let's go. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Yeah, uh, okay. God damn. There's just something about a citrus orange. Hey, Cherokees, thank you. Thank you, Cherokees. Uh, I'm gonna, let me sit with this just for a second. Just for a hot minute. I, I want to vape this for a second and then we'll talk about it, okay? I don't even need a bio break. That's how good I am right now.
Hydration. That was hydration. That's what needed to happen right there was hydration. Um, this orange kind of rules, okay? The, the, the orange on the rhubarb on the strawberry gives me like a very satisfying level of throatiness, even with a lung. Like throatiness is something I'm looking forward to in a mouth to lung for sure. But there hasn't been a liquid since like, good God, the old gaslight vapor, uh, Lane Cove, Mayi used to, it was my all day vape for like well over a year, but it gave me that similar throat hitty. I think it's coming from the citrus. I think it's coming from the orange. It, it's upfront sweet. It goes almost in order on this label of how you taste this liquid. I get rhubarb and orange right out of the gate. You get like custard strawberry. It's almost like cheesecakey exhale. The cookie butter kind of adds to the, the, like the crustiness of it. It's like a, I don't even know how I would, what I would label this as rhubarb, orange, custard, strawberry. It's so good. It's like rhubarb, rhubarb, orange, strawberry cheesecake. That's the best way that I can describe it. Holy crap. See, now we need to think of a name at it. We need to think of a name for it. Okay, this is good. Uh, it wasn't. I wasn't expecting anything less, but rhubarb, orange, custard, strawberry cookie butter is kind of amazing right now. I get strong, like the strong cookie butter on the exhale and just so much orange and rhubarb up front. Yeah, crustiness, crustiness. Oh, glue bag Bill's here. I said bidet. I said bidet, sir. Could be from the Nick shot. I'm, I'm using this nicotine. Nick, Nick. I believe this is a UK product. Nick, Nick. That's what I'm using. It's a 70 VG uh, salt, Nick. Salt, Nick, Nick. That, th that throat out. Actually, that's a really good point. That's a really excellent point. That could be coming from the Nick, money. That throat hit could be coming from the Nick. Dude. Well, I'm vaping this all weekend. I'm vaping this all weekend for damn sure. Okay, that's kick ass. That's kick ass level 8,000. That's kick ass level 9,000 even. Super Grim. I am uh, really looking forward to this. Super Grim with Super Good has been in the works almost since vapor expo uk 2019 almost since then i went to the vapor expo uk 2019 with the express intentions of a liquid line i wanted to do a uk short fill kick-ass liquid line and i talked to a multitude of liquid vendors and i met i met him there i met super good. I met the guys from super good at that show. And we sort of exchanged information fast forward two years. And I think I have the last final samples of super grim. I think I got them. I think I got them. I'm going to let this steep. I'm going to let it steep as I vape it though. You know, I don't think steeping's overhyped. I think people are convinced that steeping is overhyped, but it's not. Steeping is a real thing, and I'm going to use this as an example. Um, my, my patron, Sifu Mustache, makes an excellent liquid called the Poor Kids of Discord. And I love it. When I first got it from him, it was perfectly, perfectly clear. I got a little bit of strawberry from it, but it overall felt, uh, you know, a little bit rounded and very, very clear. That was in Houston. What was that, two months ago? It's steeped up into a nice golden color. And now all of the flavors are coming through like much more pronounced. The strawberry is crispy. The champagne is crispy. I believe in steeping. Steeping is absolutely a thing. Don't let people tell you steeping isn't a thing. <laughs> steeping is a thing. Especially with traditional Nick. It's not as much of a thing with, with salts as it is with traditional Nick. Anyway, anyway. Now, 
Where is it? Let's get out. Let's do the nug. Let's do the last uh, liquid tasting here. Let's get out an Aegis uh, Aegis Legend Two. We'll put an Asgard Mini on top of it. No, it's not like uh, the coolest setup ever, but it's gonna vape because I want to vape Lubiderm. I cannot vape Lubiderm. Has this been steeped, <laughs> Tribal Buddha? Has it been le has it been steeped? Oh, Queen Honey Bunny. Maybe I've been missing the mega chats because I haven't been seeing them. I haven't been hearing them. Uh, Queen Honey Bunny. Let's see. Uh, Chrome had the last one. Okay, Chrome had the last one. Tribal Buddha had one. There is yet another juice ready to drop. Oh, that's right. The YouTube jail. <laughs> Knife Fight, uh, I was trying to... Wait, what did Knife Fight say that I missed? Knife Fight said I was trying to get into bed, but then some random. C oh, wait, what? But then some random what? And then, and, then, and then some random what? And then some random. But then some random, you know... <laughs> Then some random, Queen Honey Bunny, that's very gracious of you. Seeing the freedom and excitement, refreshing Grim Green, Yo-Yo's will follow the vlog to the moon. I really do appreciate that. I was, uh, I'm, st I'm still really stressed about like getting this on Twitch and letting people know that it was going to be over here and getting out of YouTube jail on Wednesday and still committing to Twitch on a Thursday. It was like a, it was a big decision I had to make. Knife Fighter Mega Chat had said I was trying to... What? CJ first said, uh, Nick, you're doing an incredible job, bro. Strawberry milk and grim guitar picks for life. CJ, I promised you grim guitar picks and I will get you grim guitar picks. That goes for any guitar player. You want some grim guitar picks? I got them. I just needed some uh, hydration nation there. Just needed some hydration nation. I appreciate that, CJ. Uh, it looks like the other one hasn't popped up on the, uh, that's fine. Knife fight, I was trying to get to bed and then some random. I was trying to get to bed and then some random. Okay, I need to see where did Tribal Buddha's note go? I already lost it. Lubiderm was, oh, fig bread pudding. Lubiderm. All right, here we go, Lubiderm. Lubiderm juice. Moisturize your lungs. Yeah, Lubiderm, I don't know where that... So that kind of started at Starbucks back in the day with me and my buddy Taylor. I think I've told this story about Lubiderm. 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 Taste it. Moisturize your lungs. Lubiderm is going in the Asgard Mini. 0.13. We're going to at least put that to 70 watts. Oh, Lubiderm. Lubiderm's getting all riled up here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's get into this, Lubiderm. Lubiderm the juice. Vape it. All right, uh, I, I need some liquid tasting music. Let me take an inaugural uh, toot here before I... There we go. Now it's opening up. Tastes, uh, I instantly got a little bit of like a, a popcorn-y kind of feel. Moisturize your throat, lugs, little baked lubidorm. Miami night. Nick, I haven't stayed up on enough. What's my best bet to get decent devices and liquid to my face in New York? Miami night in New York. Let me tell you that it, that is not going to be an easy task. Your best bet, honestly, is probably the black market. Your second best bet might be a uh, reservation. I know on reservation land, uh, there's something in New York State. Uh, let me Google real quick. Uh, vape shops have opened up on reservation land in New York. Yeah, Native American reservations are a haven for New York vape shops. This is an old article from Filter Mag. 
But uh, I'll read the whole thing to you right now. Around Thanksgiving 2019, two months after Governor Andrew Cuomo signed an executive order that banned the sales of flavored vaping products in New York, Tobi Sylvia thought he'd give the vape business another shot. Fluid Vapor has opened up a bunch of shops with uh, Native Americans on Native American reservations in New York State. That's an option. That is an option for you. Lots of vape shops. Can I say the word titties? Will, will Twitch kick me off? Listen, I was on here the other night and I was watching Amaranth walk around in a bra, licking a ear, doing ASMR, and I thought, well, if she can do that, I can go on you. I can go on Twitch and talk about vaping. Okay, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with this liquid, and I will be right. some pretty good damn perfect timing there with the song ending like that and everything. Now, here's what I'm going to say about this. Uh, Tribal Buddha, you could have told me that Lubriderm was uh, like a smooth tobacco or like a mild tobacco. And I would have been like, this is the best mild tobacco I've ever had in my life. This vapes like a sweet, good tobacco. Fig is a weird flavor to begin with. Fig and bread pudding. The bread pudding does give me like a little bit of a bakery kind of backbone on this liquid. But man, tobacco. This vapes like a tobacco, Tribal Buddha. I don't know if you intended it to vape like a... Fishy. Fishy in with the mega chat. The, app, the mobile app absolutely blows, but I finally made it to the vlog party. Woo! I'm sorry, Fishy. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that the mobile app blows. I'm sorry. Look, it's my intention to stream on uh, multiple platforms, Fishy. So the vlog's going back to YouTube next week, and in the coming weeks, it's going to be YouTube and Twitch. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a double double jammer. I'm happy you're here, Fishy. Don't worry, we'll hang out later. Now, back to the tobacco fig. You could call this smooth ass tobacco. And I would go, this is a smooth ass tobacco. It vapes like a tobacco. It feels like a tobacco. It's smooth. It's sweet. It's got this like slight bakery backbone, but it has this like ambiguous to fig tobacco flavor. Really like it. I really like this a lot. And it I like it because it vapes like a tobacco. This is a tobacco. Tribal Buddha, I will not accept this as a fig pudding, as a fig bread pudding. <laughs> this is pure, pure tobacco. Pure tobacco. That is delicious. That is a delicious liquid, Tribal Buddha. Yes, very tasty. Yes, like a tobacco. Mm. It's really good, Tribal Buddha. If you said this was a fig bread pudding, I go, I could see that. But if you told me this was a tobacco, I go, fuck yeah. That's a banging tobacco. Lubidor vapor legs. <laughs> Moisturize your lungs while you vape Lubidor. All right, you guys. Uh, let's start. Uh, I'm going to get a record and uh, let's talk about some musical tunes. Let's talk about some musical accompaniment. In fact, uh, I, I, if, if I saw uh, 
Patrick Conquest here, uh, and definitely flits on you. You might be the only people that are hip to uh, hip to what I'm putting down here with uh, with my t- music choices. Yeah. Hang on. Yep. It's time to get a record out and talk about why this record means what it does to me. We've been going through my, uh, you know, modest, albeit small record collection. Oh, Knife Fighter. Knife Fighter in with a super chat. I missed it. (sighs) Knife Fighter says, here was my last mega chat. My last mega chat to go to bed and get some random cat shot into my room in a magic cloud of dust and woke me up by meowing the words, super grim. I shot out of bed and had (laughs) had to vote. Also, by the way, I met you at Vapor Expo UK 2019. Knife fighter. All right. You have pictures of it? You have have proof? I believe you. I love that show. God, I love that show. I want to go back to the, I want to go back to the UK so bad. It's just this desire. I have to go back to the UK. It's so great there, and uh, that show is a really good show. So, we're going to talk about Guar tonight. Yep, we've done a lot of Guar in the Getting to Know Grim Green. All right, I see you there, Patrick. And we're talking about Guar tonight. Because Guar, listen... When I tell people Guar is my favorite band of all time, I, I usually get mixed with, met with really weird reactions. Like, really? Guar? Your favorite band of all time? Like, yeah. Fucking Guar. I really got into Guar. Guar was like my Metallica. I loved Guar beyond reason. And it's funny. I got into a conversation the other night with my wife, Casey Pickle, as we do sometimes. And, uh, you know, we're just sitting around talking. And we were talking about music. And we were talking about this idea that there's a... Uh, Oh, there'll, there'll be some John Stewart. The, Barbara, this is coming up. This is coming up. Bombs Away Dream Babies is coming up. But Guar. I love Guar. Big fan of Guar. I have them tattooed on me. I have Odorous's visage tattooed on me. I have uh, Balzac, the Jaws of Death. He's tattooed on me. I really like this band. And I got to, you know, like I was saying, my wife and I were having a conversation about music. Uh not too long ago. Yes, rest in peace, Odorous. Rest in power, you scum dog. We were talking about, you know, who are those, like, artists in your life that, like, have been there your whole life, that you've just loved your whole life, and, you know, you, names start coming up like Bruce Springsteen, you know? People just got into Bruce Springsteen and just love Bruce Springsteen, and it's like this this epic you know, person in their life, this like legacy musician and, and, you know, Casey, it's with Casey, it's with Barry Manilow. It's like, she got into Barry Manilow and Barry Manilow is just like this legendary prolific musician, just respected the world over and, and things like this. And I'm, and I'm thinking, fuck, I don't really have any like that. I don't have, I don't have that. And that's sad because it was Kurt Cobain until he killed himself. And then it was Odorous Urungus until he died of a heroin overdose. And that was just made me really sad that I don't have that like l- long lifetime love of one artist who's like this legendary prolific artist that you just love and respect into the ground because it was going to be Dave Brocky from Guar, Odorous Urungus. He was my Barry Manilow. Like he was my Bruce Springsteen and he died of a heroin overdose. And that's sad. And it was going to be, you know, I, I I was a freshman in high school when Smells Like Teen Spirit came out. I loved Kurt Cobain. I loved Nirvana. All my, like, prolific, lifetime achievement award-winning musicians are dead, and that is sad. <laughs> I mean, that is really very sad. Bruce, oh, Bruce Springsteen doesn't suck. Come on. I mean, Kiss is one of those bands, but it's like, I love Kiss, but it's not on that level of like people that love Bruce Springsteen or people that love Barry Manilow or people that love certain artists. Like I love Kiss, you know, 
Ozzy Osbourne could have been that musician for me as well, but I wasn't like crazy into him, like crazy obsessed with him. I was that way with Guar. I loved Dave Brockie. I loved Odorous. I listened to all of his music, all of his bands. I read his blog. I read, I was like fascinated by his personal life. He was just a musical artist that I was like, you're my guy, you're my legacy artist. And I want to be listening to Dave Brockie songs when I'm like 80 years old. And that's just not going to happen. But I will be listening to Dave Brocky songs when I'm 80 years old because of this right here. Now, this is Guar's Lust in Space album. This is a particularly banging album. There, there's some really good songs on this album. And if you notice the cover of this album, if there's any Kiss fans in the house, Kiss fans in the house, this is kind of a Guar's play on slash homage to the Love Gun cover. Kiss released an album, Love Gun. Let's see if I can I get it up here. Can I get it up here real quick? Doo Doo Brown. I appreciate that, Doo Doo Brown. Let's see. Kiss, Love Gun. Love Gun. Okay. Kiss, Love Gun looked like this. And Guar's Lust in Space looks like this. Standing between the pillars with the women and, you know, and they're the band and they're standing triumphantly. This was the kind of their homage to Kiss, uh, the Kiss Love Gun album. And I, and I very much appreciate that. Of course, when you flip it to the back, you see that all the women, of course, are horribly disfigured, disgusting sort of Cronenberg monsters on the back as you do as Guar does, you know, as Guar does. I've been trying to get all of my favorite Guar albums on vinyl. I saw this one for sale. Wasn't about to sleep on it because, because A, it's Guar Lust in Space. This album is really sentimental to me because this was the last time I saw Dave on tour with Guar. And it was an incredible show. Incredible. I was smoking cigarettes at the time. This was pre-quit vaping. No, no, no. I was not smoking cigarettes at the time. This album came out in 2009, and I went and saw Guar in 2009, so that means I was vaping the last time I saw Dave play with Guar. Come on. Clear pink and purple spatter vinyl. I, I wasn't going to sleep on this. I love this band. I love this album. I love their aesthetic. I love everything about Guar, and I know I've talked about why I like Guar so much. But one of the reasons that I love Guar and I loved Odorous so much, I love Dave Brocky so much, was he just had, like, they had this artistic vision. And they're kind of like, fuck you, we're going to do this. And I love that. <laughs> and I love that they didn't ever waver from that. They're like, no, we're intergalactic space aliens and we're here to enslave and destroy humanity. That's our shtick. And we're sticking with it. And they are still intergalactic aliens who are here to enslave and destroy humanity and all of their songs are horribly offensive you know and that's just the way it is because if you if you were listening to a band that was actually made up of intergalactic alien warlords then their lyrics would probably be pretty offensive to you since you're the race that they're trying to you know destroy and enslave all of humanity they had an artistic vision and they just executed it unapologetically and I love it I love it it doesn't matter how many people they pissed off it doesn't matter how many people they offended they went on the Joan Rivers show you know <laughs> they go on the Jerry Springer show I love that I love uh, I love an artistic vision you know and it upsets me that stupid Dave Brocky was dabbling with some with some heroin Sad. I was, I cried. I sobbed greatly when Dave Brocky died. It, it felt like I, my buddy had died, you know? It felt like my friend had died. And that's why I love Guar. And I'll always love Guar. And so let's put uh, the second song, the second track off this, uh, Let Us Slay, is a great song, great album, great, great, great song, great video, because Guar sometimes 
change their costumes. And it's all part of the Guar mythology. It's all part of the Guar mythos. Like for a few albums, uh, Balzac, The Jaws of Death had like a Triceratops head on his thing. And that was like worked into the story of why his costume changed. And Dave... Odorous Urungus, he had gone through a few costume changes, but usually the costume changes were live. It's kind of like how Ghost now does, you know, Papa Emeritus, the Ghost uh, singer. He's been a bunch of different, like, incarnations of himself, according to the Ghost storyline. Like, he's gone from old to young, long hair, short hair. He's like, it's part of the mythology of the band, you know? All these things used to happen at live shows, so... Dave would change his costume live show and it would be part of the story. But for the fan who's just sitting at home buying the CDs, I don't get to see the, you know, the costume changes or why the story changed to Dave's costume. And in the Let Us Slay video, there's a whole little scene where he pulls off the top of his head and exposes some more horns in the back. And you can see in his exposed brain. And I was like, whoa, you got to see a Dave Brocky like Odorous Urungus costume change on a video that's just really fucking cool. And then when I saw them live, he had the new updated mask with the new horns and the brain exposed. And I just thought that was really, really cool. Really, really cool. So let us slay. Here's the thing. Everybody wants me to put Metal Metal Land on here because that was the song that was on the radio, Flits on You. Metal Metal Land. The problem is I don't really like the song Metal Metal Land. So we're going to put Lords and Masters on here. Let Us Slay and Lords and Masters are two bangers on this album. Bangers on this album. This wasn't the last album with Dave Brocky, Odorous Urungus, but this was the last tour that I got to see, and this was the year I started vaping, so I heavily associate this album. What the fuck was that? This album and that song Let Us Slay with like with vaping. I've played this album in my early days of vaping when it was like you had 15 ego, you know, clearomizers all lined up or like 510 atomizers all lined up and you're you used to take hot water through a syringe and like pump it through these atomizers to like clean them out and this was like a weekly process of doing this. Guar. I was listening to Guar. I was listening to Lust in Space and uh I just really, 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 really like it. I had them tattooed on me. Guar is a uh, Guar is an acquired taste, and if you're not into intergalactic warlords who want to, uh, you know, enslave and destroy humanity, and they sing about terrible things, <laughs> terrible things, it's an acquired taste. So. I don't think anybody, everybody's going to be into it, but I'll tell you, there wouldn't be, I wouldn't be the person that I am without, without Guar in my life. Like the, the creativity and like I said, the artistic vision of Guar was very, very inspiring to me. And, uh, I still, I still hold, uh, uh Dave Brocky as one of my like heroes, you know, despite his overdose, he's still one of my heroes for, for many other <laughs> for many other other reasons many other reasons and now look and now i'm a guar fan that doesn't care about guar anymore don't care about blothar i'm glad they're still going but i have no real no real interest in seeing guar or listening to the new records guar was odorous to me and i get it like Black Sabbath was Ozzy to a lot of people. And when Ronnie James Dio started singing for Black Sabbath, people were like, eh, it's not the same Black Sabbath. You know, Black Sabbath to me was Ozzy Osbourne or Van Halen. I don't like Van Hagar. Van Halen to me was David Lee Roth and only David Lee Roth. I understand that now because to me, Guar was Odorous Urungus and only Odorous Urungus. With, without Odorous, the rest of the band is kind of like, I don't care as much, you know. But that's just me. Listen, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. That's just me. Let's finish up this beer. Mm. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. <clears throat> there was literally almost beer snot all over my computer all over my camera all over my vape stuff what did i ever do to you beer nothing except 
enjoyed you and consumed you deliciously. What was that all about, you jerk? All right, you guys. Uh, oh, look at that. I guess we're down to the end of the stream here. Uh, I guess we're down to the end of the stream. I, I, I want to remind you guys of a few things. These calls to action and the eSig Intelligence Survey, that's literally all I care about. I'm not going to throw a thousand news and advocacy things at you because this is all the focus needs to be right now. This. Here, can I get it better? Boop. Boop. Casaw call to action. Please do it. Please get everyone you can to do it. Please get everybody in the world to do it. Look, the Dawn, I agree with you. Where's the Dawn? I agree with you. Sammy Hagar was awesome. Oh, thank you, Daryl. Uh, I agree with you. I like Van Hagar. I like Van Hagar a lot. In fact, I got into Van Halen when it was Van Hagar. I didn't know when I first heard Van Halen that David Lee Roth used to be the singer. That's actually not true. I heard 1984. Okay. I like Van Hagar. I like Van Hagar as much as I like Van Halen with David Lee Roth. I like Sabbath with Ronnie James Dio a little bit more than I like Sabbath with Ozzy Osbourne. And I definitely love Guar with Odorous Urungus only. Don't care about Blothar. Glad he's there. Glad he was uh, whatever his storyline is. Glad he was awakened from the Arctic ice with a pea boner. I think that's what <laughs> I think that's what his storyline was. Um, and then Corey Smoot, when Corey Smoot died in Guar, that was a, <laughs> that was a horribly sad thing. He's one of the reasons I really love that band too. His metal riffing made Guar awesome again after they released the worst album in the history of albums, which is we kill everything. Terrible, terrible album. And then they got Corey Smoot on guitar and it's like, Oh, we're a metal band again. And I was like, fuck yeah. And I got so back on board with Guar when they died. When, when Corey Smoot died, that was sad. Sad, right? Okay, thank you, the Don. I loved, love, love Ronnie James Dio Sabbath era. Like it to me, that was an upgrade. <laughs> when Dio started singing over <laughs> Sabbath, I was like, boom, upgrade. That is a huge upgrade. What are you kidding me? I'm doing good, Daryl. Doing good. I think we're gonna wrap this up. I think we're there. I think we're there. I'm going to really, really, really try to, let's see. Oh, that's right. Oh, we did sing birthdays. Randy, Randy, it was your birthday or it's going to be your birthday. Uh, it's going to be your birthday. Um, I wanted to give a, a shout out to two subscribers. Um, Mike Burr. Mike Burr, are you here tonight? Mike Burr and Blue Flash 717. They had a little conversation on my YouTube under a post uh, about this very stream, and uh, Blue Flash helped Mike get to the Twitch. Like they had a little back and forth, and then like they ended it and like being like, oh, thanks, bro. This is why I love the vape community. Everybody's so helpful. And like Blue Flash, he doesn't know Mike, or maybe he does, but he just helped a random stranger get to the stream. That's just cool, man. That's just cool. If you have the chance to, to make somebody laugh or make somebody smile, do it. Do it every time. Be the nice guy. Be the nice guy. Help the Asian lady at the Target put her windshield wipers on. Be the nice guy. I only say that because I did that yesterday. I did that the other day. She was just struggling so hard with those windshield wipers. I said, is there anything I can do to help? And we put windshield wipers on. Just be the nice guy, you know, help, help other people's lives be better. Don't, don't shit on everything. <laughs> Just trying to, good Lord. We need a, we need a, a change of mindset. I think in, in, in the United States of America, We're, maybe we just need to not shit on all, everybody all the time. That rhubarb custard. Holy crap. Uh, that's tremendous. Okay. I think we're done here. Let me get this. I'm, I'm, I'm really double checking right now. Really double checking. We're good. We're good. Well, thank you literally everybody for joining me here on Twitch for the very first time next Thursday, next week. We're going to be back on YouTube. The build stream on Monday is going to be on YouTube. The TBN with Charles Gardner next week is going to be on YouTube. 
The Thursday vlog next week is going to be on YouTube tomorrow morning. Sleepy Beats, I see you there. I'll get to you in one, just one second. Tomorrow morning, I am driving up to Santa Rosa to go visit with my dad for the weekend, and I'll be driving home on Sunday. So I'll be a little bit MIA this weekend. There won't be any content or anything like that. But Monday, we're hitting the ground running hard with a with a Boro build stream. Really looking forward to that. As I said, Charles Gardner is going to be here on uh, Tuesday to uh, to fight the good fight. And then we'll be back here on Thursday on YouTube uh, for the for the vlog. And uh, like I said, my plan, my overall plan that I would like to happen here. I'm going to put this link in the chat. Can I do that? Does this count? Can I do it here? Yeah, that's the one about the, the Native American uh, New York vape shops for the fellow that was asking about uh, uh, getting vape stuff in, uh, in New York, in New York. Uh, knife Fighter. Okay, that's right. I got Knife Fighter. Oh, we got uh, Saban. Uh, I would recommend listening to Greta Van Fleet. Oh, oh, I'm hip. I have loved them since they started back in 2012. Highly recommended. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yes, Greta Van Fleet. I don't listen to a lot of Greta Van Fleet, but I'm familiar with them. You know, I, I know who they are. It's like, uh, you know, there's just some bands. Can't really think of an example right now. <laughs> Can't really think of an example right now. Uh, Thin Lizzy, I guess, would be an example. It's like, I know a few Thin Lizzy songs, but I'm not a big Thin Lizzy fan, but I appreciate thin Lizzy and, and, and what they've done for rock and roll. And I, and I, I can see the fandom of thin Lizzy and go, yeah, like these guys are obviously a good band. They have a huge fan base. Greta Van Fleet is one of those, like I'm familiar with them. I just, I don't, I couldn't sing you a Greta Van Fleet song, you know? And it's something I've been trying to do. It's something I've been trying to do is go like Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan, right? legendary musician, legendary musical artist. I don't really know much Bob Dylan. And so I've been trying to go and just listen to a bunch of Bob Dylan lately. Like see what the fuss is all about. Why does, why do people, why do legions of people love Bob Dylan? Oh, it's because Bob Dylan's really, really talented and writes really tremendously good songs, you know? So I've been trying to get into some of those like legendary artists. It's like I grew up with The Doors and The Who and Led Zeppelin and my dad was a big classic rock guy and like we'll talk about Jon Stewart a little bit later on and you know he's like a folk rock guy. But I've been trying to go back and listen to like Bob Dylan. You know, Gre Greta Van Fleet, we're throwing Greta Van Fleet in there. A Fleetwood Mac, look Fleetwood Mac is one of those legendary bands. Fleetwood Mac. We're we're going to talk a little bit about Fleetwood Mac next week. Just, uh, you know, yeah, the boys are back in town. It's like, yeah, I know that song. I know maybe like two other Thin Lizzy songs, but it's like when you talk to any rock guitarist or musician, it's like, oh, Thin Lizzy, Thin Lizzy, you know, legend, legendary, Thin Lizzy, you know, just never got into him. Deep Purple. Yeah, I'm a big Deep Purple fan. Yeah. And, I, and, you know, I, see, that's important. Earn, I like that you said that. That's that. I, I appreciate that. Where, what did you say? Bob Dylan, legendary artist, horrible in concert live now that he's ancient. Yeah, here's the thing. I, I, I think that's important. You know, I think the aging uh, 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 musician, singer is a very, very important part of their career. I don't like it when bands stop playing at the peak of their career. I want, no, no, keep going. Be bad. I want, like, remember Frank Sinatra performing into his 80s up in Lake Tahoe, and he just sounded not great. He sounded not great. You kind of go, ooh, Frank, that doesn't sound great. But it's still Frank fucking Sinatra, you know? And hearing Frank Sinatra later in life sound not great is important. That really puts how great he used to sound into perspective. It makes how great he used to sound all that much more impressive, you know? I think that's important. I think it's important if you hear Bob Dylan now and you go, ooh, Bob, it doesn't sound so great. But you go back and listen to Bob Dylan, you go, wow. That really, like, 
it really makes you appreciate how great he used to sound. I think it's good perspective. I think it's good perspective for a band. That's why I'm going to keep doing Grim Green until I'm dead. I think it's important. <laughs> I think it's important. Yeah, Johnny Cash. Yeah, same thing with Johnny Cash. You know, at the end of his life, Johnny Cash did not sound great. Let's see, let's be real honest. Johnny Cash was never a great singer. Okay, <laughs> he didn't have tremendous vocal range, right? You know, Johnny Cash kind of always talked through his songs, and that is genius. And even at the end of his life, Johnny Cash wasn't sounding good. That even that Nine Inch Nails cover, it, it, he sounds old. He sounds like an old Johnny Cash, and it really just makes you appreciate all that Johnny Cash is. And that you know, at whatever age he was when he did that Nine Inch Nails cover, you're just like, "Fuck, that's cool." Fuck, that's cool. That was one of the coolest covers, literally of all time. Yeah, Sinatra forgetting his lyrics. Rolling Stones are still going. I know. I don't know how. I don't know how. <laughs> the Rolling Stones are still going. Yeah, here's the thing. Johnny Cash's voice is amazing, but a singer, he is not. He he He's a crooner at best, and even some of his stuff is just talking, you know? <laughs> just talking. But I agree. Look, legend, legend. I'm not here to shit on Johnny Cash in any way. No way. Johnny Cash is a legend. The man in black, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Johnny Cash is a legend, Derek Rhodes. No need to end your patronage. But a singer, he is not. He's a talented guitar player. He can talk his way through a song. But he's not a singer. I wouldn't say he ever sang anything. He was a storyteller. Exactly. He was a storyteller. 100%. Legend. Absolute legend. Uh, undeniably legend. Unquestionably a legend. Tom Jones, yeah, look, that's important too. Tom Jones, uh, Wayne Newton. I think Wayne Newton is still performing in Las Vegas. Okay, Dolly Parton, absolute legend. Dolly Parton is honestly like a fucking personal hero. Dolly Parton has the greatest scam, sh not scam, sorry. Dolly Parton just lives a normal life because nobody knows that she's Dolly Parton. Because she wears a big blonde wig and she goes out in public with just natural brunette hair and maybe a pair of glasses and just lives her life, goes grocery shopping, and nobody knows that it's Dolly Parton. But she's a goddamn superstar, you know? Superstar. There's not a lot of artists and musicians that I'm gonna like really truly shit on. Scott Stapp, maybe from Creed, but that's about it, you know? That's about it. I can find redeeming qualities and appreciate, like, I'm not a big Wayne Newton fan. I'm not going to rock a Wayne Newton t-shirt and I'm not going to buy any Wayne Newton vinyl, but Wayne Newton is a goddamn legend. Legend. Are you kidding me? Wayne Newton? You want to try to talk shit on Wayne fucking Newton? You're crazy. He's a legend. The man's a legend. The man is prolific. Dolly Parton, you know, same way, same thing. It's like, I'm not going to rock a Dolly Parton shirt. I'm not going to put Dolly Parton on Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist, which will be linked down below in the YouTube description. I don't know how it works on Twitch, but I can't put any links down there. You know, Engelbert Humperdinck, same thing. Same thing. Okay, well, listen, you're getting into like Merle Haggard. You want to talk about Merle Haggard, Shooter Jennings, legend, legends. What's up, Chelsinator? What's up to you? I guess we're running uh, just a hair along tonight because I got I had a real <laughs> strong opinion about Wayne Newton that I didn't, I didn't know I had. Waylon Jennings, yeah. Waylon and Shooter. Waylon Jennings, Shooter Jennings, legend. Legend. CJ, I don't need to tell you. I don't need to tell you. You want to talk about Buddy Guy? I don't need to tell you. Here's the thing. Garth Brooks, same thing. Garth Brooks is a Legend. Legend. And I don't even hip to country music. I don't like country music. But Garth Brooks, look, you, un, Garth Brooks is undeniably a legend. That's why there's a documentary coming out on HBO Max about Kenny G. How bad do you want to watch this documentary? Because for me, it's through the roof. I'm dying to know why people love Kenny G so much. And, I, and I'm just interested in him 
You know, he's like an odorous type of, I'm just going to play this instrument and this is my job and I'm just going to do it. And if you don't like it, you can just eat shit. Kenny G, man. I'm, I'm excited to watch that documentary. Where'd my tobacco go? Here's my tobacco. Let's end this vlog. Let, let's go ahead and end it. It's getting late, you know. It's getting late and... Uh, we got some uh, shed time to have and some uh, yo-yo hangs to have, and uh, I'm really, uh, I'm really excited. I'm really, I'm really pleased with how this, how this whole Twitch stream thing went. You know, I appreciate all of the mega chats. I really do. We'll be back on, uh, we'll be back on YouTube next week, like I said. But uh, this is going to be one of those. I'm, tr I'm going to try to pull a Wayne DIY or die and stream to both platforms at the same time. Because I know some people prefer YouTube. I'm, some people prefer Twitch. We're going both. We're going both hard in the paint. So, with that said, let me take one last final look. Bob Marley. Same way. Bob Marley. Legend. I even like some Bob Marley songs. It's hard not to love Bob Marley. I mean, come on. Let's see. We got Guar. Dude, I got a Novo Pro. We got some kick-ass tobacco. We got rhubarb, orange, strawberry, custard. We got some new Thunderhead creation stuff. That's it. I think we're done. I'm excited. This was a great vlog. God, what a great vlog. G thank you. Uh, let me just say this. I keep looking over here to the chat, but let me address you directly, the viewer. Hi. Hi. Thank you guys so much for coming out, dude. The vlog, I love the vlog. The vlog was going to happen come hell or high water today. I was about to stream in my living room with my iPhone to do this vlog. And thankfully the power came back on. Crisis averted. I, I was determined to stream today and it was worth it. It was everything I wanted. It was everything I wanted. Everything I wanted. Uh, I love you guys uh, into the ground. Just You're just my favorite people on earth. If we ever get the opportunity to meet in real life, like if I get to meet you, dude, crisp high fives. We'll go in for the full hug. I don't care. I'm fully vaccinated. Let's just do it. But uh, I'm going to take off you guys and... I'll see you next week. Again, I'm going to be up uh, visiting my dad this weekend, and I'll be back down here on Monday. We're going to hit the ground running with a, a build stream on Monday. Does that sound fun? That sounds fun as hell. Sick boy mega chatted. Grats on your first Twitch stream. Well done, lad. Well done. Be well and power bomb cancer all day, every day. Yeah, power bomb cancer. We're going to make power bomb cancer t-shirts. <laughs> That's going to be great. Matt Sinister's face is going to be on it it's going to be so great, but, uh, take care of yourselves. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Be the nice guy, you know, be, be the nice guy every once in a while, help the person with their flat tire, help the person with their windshield wipers, give, give 10 bucks to the homeless guy. Just be the positive influence you want to see in the world. You know, I appreciate that very much, CJ. We're going to get to hang out again very soon, but in the meantime, peace and chicken grease be excellent to each other. Bye, Twitchers.